What's up, y'all? Sugar and I, Carne, or you can call me Nani. We are currently at Target and it is currently, hold on baby, hold on, let me get y'all right. 11.38 in the mother freaking morning. I've been up since like 8.30 because I had to go handle some business, get y'all some. But we are currently at Target right now, y'all. My logic was go right now instead of later because it's going to be more people in here later than right now. Like if y'all get what I'm saying, like it's early in the day, plus it's a Wednesday, so I'm thinking, okay everybody at work everybody at school no i see people walking in and out left and right like why why are y'all here right now like go home <laughs> i don't know what it is about recording in like public in a public scene but i just be feeling like a little scared like i'm a little scary you know like i'd be a little shy so we about to see how this goes the way i want to set my vlog up the way i want it to be like i have to actually like y'all gonna see <laughs> but anyway so yeah if you don't know now you know that me and jada are in the process of moving so that's mainly the reason i'm kind of stacking up on things and getting things that i need but not really because i am also running low and i'm like okay I might as well do a hygiene vlog for y'all since, you know, I'm in the process of getting new things anyway. So, I'm just going to be showing y'all all the things that I use, what works for my body, what can work for yours, like, um, as far as my face, my body, and my skin, like, you know. I'm also going to be getting some new things that I've been seeing that's getting, like, pretty popular. And I've been seeing a lot of other YouTubers or TikTokers use, so I kind of want to try those out and see, like, how those work because... Honestly, I'm the type of person, like, once I like something, I get the same thing over and over again. I rarely try anything new, for real, honestly. Like, all the stuff that I use now, I've been using for years and years. But, we're gonna see what Tajay has in store for us. So, we're about to go ahead and walk in there right now and get to shopping. Period. <laughs> Yeah, so I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this natrium body wash and I kind of want to try it I just don't know which one like I've been seeing a lot of people get this one but I'm about to set my camera up and like smell all the different ones and see which one kind of like speaks to me and which one like I want to try for real I've tried method before and I've tried native but for some reason I don't know if it's just me but literally they fuck up my pH balance like too much so I just stopped using those all together and just stuck with my Dove really dove is really like the only thing that seems to get me right and never really messes up my ph balance so we're about to see what this is hitting for all right y'all so update it doesn't have no smell and i don't think it's supposed to have a smell because it is like a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so honestly, I don't think it's supposed to have any type of smell for real, but it says it gently exfoliates and resurfaces to reveal softer, smoother skin. I'm thinking it's about to have a scent to it, and obviously it doesn't. So we're going to go with this one because I see everybody use this one. So that's just going to be that. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, y'all, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Oh my god. But no, honestly, y'all, it was not that bad. It was not that many people how I thought it was gonna be. It was pretty cool. It was kind of like, ooh, scary. Especially when I was checking out because there was somebody behind me, and you know the lady was right there watching self checkout. So I know she tried. Like I know she was watching me set up my camera, and y'all. My camera like fell through like the hose, like where I had it, it like fell through the hose. So I'm like, damn, I'm embarrassed. Like I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. But we made it work. We got our shopping done. Um, I only spent ninety two ninety nine, so basically ninety three dollars, which is good because I was not trying to go over a hundred. But they also didn't have everything like that I wanted there so I probably would have spent a good like 120 130 if I would have got everything that I needed like they did not have for some reason y'all they did not have my cocoa butter that I usually use my cocoa butter oil and they also did not have Dr. Bonner's which is weird well they had some but they didn't have the peppermint one and they also didn't have oh the deodorant that I use I use Dove I used to use Degree but I switched over to Dove about a year ago and I like it you know you know it's pretty good but they didn't have the scent that i usually use which is like a cocoa butter scent i believe i'm gonna show y'all once we get home and do our little haul tour but they did not have that so bummer but other than that y'all we did good we did good we did good we did good today so now we can go in public more y'all we can go in public more and we can actually you know do a thing or two <laughs> uh, if y'all know me then y'all know I love me some freaking huncho. Like, that is my man. <laughs> that is my man. If you thought he was yours, baby, he's mine. <laughs> oh, baby, you freak in the morning. Freak in the morning. You straight to the world. Freak in the morning, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you want me or you just want my sex? Wait on my car, but when I do it, you ready, girl. Huncho, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Huncho, if you see my last shit, baby. Don't mind them. I, I swear, get them taken off this week. I promise. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, if you really know me, you know Major 9 is my first love. Heard that you a fetch, so you say you drop that pussy on me, I'ma end up on the stretch, yo. Cause I got you, I'm top of just sad. As long as she with it, I don't play no games. Girl, that dick can hang here. Yeah. Uh, uh. Get that bitch, we love niggas that pay for shit. All my niggas hold a demon. I don't fucking play with kids. Get a nerd, go dumb with it. I just let you call me. Get a nigga. freaking funny because it's like you're you literally like you know what you about to pick out but you literally have to set your camera down walk back to where you was going act like you looking around picking up shit like i don't know that's just so funny to me because baby like <laughs> and then like too i've done this before too but you know like how if you are watching a youtube video you're watching tiktok and they'll have a camera set up and they'll be like just waking up like they'll have it across the room and they'll just be waking up out their bed like that is so funny to me because i literally have to get up out my bed in the morning set my camera up get back in bed get back under the covers set the alarm and then fake wake up again like that's just so funny to me <laughs> but let's get right into this little haul oh actually before we get into that i meant to tell y'all earlier y'all y'all already know every time i get on this camera it's always something wrong but don't be minding my lashes, y'all. I know they gone, y'all. They been gone since the last day of my Jamaica trip, y'all. Not too freaking much, okay? We getting them taken off sometime this week. I've been trying to pick them off and pull them off, but it haven't been working, so whatever. I thought I didn't need any more skincare items, but turns out I did because my shit is damn near empty. I don't have, like, a rigorous 
a skincare routine. I actually never did. If you know me, well, I ain't gonna say I've always had like pretty nice skin, but I've definitely always had pretty good skin. Like, I don't mean to do too much. The only thing that really like used to break out for real on me, and I think it's because like I used to wear bangs a lot, like swoop bangs a lot. So my forehead right here will always break out and I will always get acne right there. But I've tried everything. Like I've tried clean and clear. I've tried, I think it's called Noxzema. I've tried face masks. Like I've tried everything and I swear by these two items. Like I've been using this I want to say for like three years now, like, and I haven't had any complications with it. The only time I really break out is when I'm about to come on my cycle. But these two do the do the job very good. So I go in with my CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVe or whatever. And I use the normal to oily skin because I do have, I don't know, I have very, very oily skin. Like, if you know me, you know I have very, very oily skin. My skin is like super duper, like... In the winter time, it's oily. In the summertime, it's oilier. Like, I don't know why my skin is so oily. I don't know. But I will say that this product right here, these two products, minimizes my oiliness to my skin. Like, extremely. So, my skin is rarely that oily, I would say. And I have these products to thank for that. But, like I said, I go in with this. And then, after I go in with the facial... After I go in with the facial cleanser, I do like to go in with this facial mist. Uh, it's just Witch Hazel. It's a Witch Hazel facial mist by, um, I don't know who's by. <laughs> but it's the aloe vera formula and it's unscented. You know like how Witch Hazel has that scent to it. Like if you know, you know. This doesn't have a scent at all. And I literally just go, mist that on my skin. Let it air dry and then that be that. And then after I do that, I go in with my CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. And literally, like I said, I swear by these two products. Like, to me, these are the best products anybody could have made for face. Like, <laughs> I swear. Like, for me. So, if you have oily skin and you need something to kind of, like, dry it out or just, you know, make it not so oily and keep your skin healthy and clear, get those, baby. Okay, next up is our body washes. Like, I know y'all probably heard me in a video, but I'm going to say it again. But like I was saying, I've tried Method. I've tried Native. But I've always stuck to my Dove. Like, Dove was always right next door all the time if I needed it. But I hear a lot of bad things about Dove. But honestly, like, I, I'm a Dove girly. Dove never gave me any problems for real. doesn't fuck up my pH balances, like, at all. And I was telling you on the video, like, I've tried Method, I've tried Native, and I literally tried one time. Like, I had one bottle of Native. No, I had two bottles of Native, and I had one bottle of Method. But I never really knew it was a body wash until I knew it was the body wash. Like, that don't make sense, but... I know it was a body wash because I've never had that problem with Dove. But, like, every time I would use the Method or the Native, like, my pH would just be off. Like, it, it I knew it was that. Like, I don't know if it's just me. I actually, um, I forgot who, who told me this. It was another girl. No, oh, it was a makeup artist. And she was doing me and Jada makeup. And she actually said the same thing, that those two products messes up her pH balance. And I was like, okay, I know I'm not the only one. So, I've been stopped using those a long time ago and just stuck with my Dove. I have the Dove Original and I have Dial. Now, I just started using Dial, but as you, if you know, like, if you have tattoos, you know they tell you to use, like, Dial um, when you're washing up on your body just so, like, your tattoo doesn't get, like, infected or whatever because Dial, um, Dial is a soap that doesn't use a lot of harsh ingredients that other body washes use. So, I just feel like that it's more safer for your skin. And then, too... I don't use it a lot like I mix like I said I use both of them so the dial kind of dries out my skin a little bit but I like the fact that I feel like I'm getting a deeper cleanse like a, a deeper clean uh, rather than like I don't know other soap bars or something like that but like this this get this y'all get this and also get this so like I said I go in with this and then I go in with that and then I like to use oops, oops. I use these 
two body washes this one is the shea butter i believe yeah shea butter and vanilla and then this one is just original deep moisture um like when it comes to washing up i like a very like soft warm chill type of scent i don't really like too much of a fruity harsh type of strong scent in a way only because i just feel like when you wash up you want to feel clean you don't want to feel fragrancy like you don't want to feel like you're literally about to walk outside like you didn't spray some perfume on i don't want to feel like that when i want to wash up i want to feel fresh clean you know like a good like dryer sheet scent or like a linen scent I feel like this is the linen scent to bathing. <laughs> Honestly, like you literally cannot go wrong with a shea butter scent. You can't go wrong with like a uh, original type of clean scent. Like if that makes sense, like it makes sense to me. Okay, next, after I pretty much do, I don't know if I do this backwards or what, but after I wash up and everything, I, that's when I go in with my body scrub. I use Dove body scrub. This one, this one is the shea butter, I believe. Yeah, brown sugar and coconut butter. Mm, that should just smell so good and clean and fresh. Like, oh my God. And then me personally, I'm not a Tree Hut fan. I just feel like Tree Hut is very overrated. And two, the beads to me are a little bit harsh. No, they actually are harsh. Like, I feel like they be cutting my skin. And I just feel like the Dove beads in the uh, exfoliator are a little bit softer. They might not exfoliate well. I feel like this, I don't know, like y'all, this, this, just get this, just get this, y'all, just get this. But I actually love this body scrub. I actually never used this scent, but I love the body scrub. Ooh, oh my God, y'all. I forgot to tell y'all, so I got this body wash. Um, It's the Notorium Cream Glycolic Acid Body Wash. I've been seeing a lot of people use this, like a lot of people use this. So I'm trying to see what the hype is about. I don't know like how I should play it in my um, body wash routine. Like what should I do first? Should I wash it with the bar soap, then do this, then do my dub, then do my scrub? Like what should I do or do I just use this and nothing else? Like I don't know. I'm gonna play with it a little bit and just see how it makes my skin um, it says, gently exfoliates and resurfaces to reveal softer, smoother skin. So, yeah, we're going to see how this works. I've been seeing a lot of people use this, like a lot, like a lot. It, it better be as good as they say it is because, baby, this shit was $15. It says, apply a generous amount into hands, washcloths, or loofah, and massage the skin. For added benefits, leave on for a few minutes, rinse thoroughly, and yeah that's pretty much it okay we're gonna be adding this into our body care routine so hopefully that's a one for my moisturizing y'all i am a jergens type of girl like i love me some jergens like i love me some jergens i've been using jergens forever and i'm gonna continue using jergens forever but i like the cherry almond scent me and this one and the original are the best scents to me and i also got this eos uh lotion now i've been seeing a lot of people use this now okay i was debating from this one I was going back and forth back and forth so i was originally going to get both but i'm like i still have my dragon so it wouldn't make no sense for me to get both of the the eos ones but i was going back and forth because this one i see a lot of people get this one but but the pomegranate smelling one that smelled really good to me like that smells so good to me but this one y'all oh my god this one really, this one literally smells like, like a bakery or something. Like, I don't know. Like, this should smell good. But I ended up getting this one besides the pomegranate one only because I just felt like it was kind of similar to my cherry almond scent that I get in the Jergens. Even though the cherry almond is like not too strong. It's like a settled type of scent. I felt like the pomegranate one and the EOS one was kind of overpowering the scent was like it was kind of strong and like i said i like kind of like soft smelling lotions and everything especially when i'm getting out the shower or at night like if i'm not going anywhere i like uh soft smelling uh lotions because i just feel like i don't want to feel like i'm about to go outside like if that makes sense like i don't want to feel like i just spray perfume on it when i'm going to bed i don't like that but let me tell y'all what I do use when I am going out. Like say I'm moisturizing my body in the morning. I'm getting ready to leave out the door. Or I'm getting ready to go somewhere. Or I'm going to the club or anything. Or I'm going out to lunch. Or I'm going out to dinner. Anything like that. 
I use my a Raw Nora Shea um, body oil um, Palmers. Y'all, I love me some freaking Palmers. And they did not have this in Target today, like, at all. I believe I got this from CVS, though. But they did not have it in Target. And I literally love this, like, literally love this freaking oil. Oh, my God. Um, I use this when i'm going out and i mix it in with my brooklyn body butter if y'all don't know brooklyn body butter is a detroit made brand um she originally started making this for her daughter because her daughter had sensitive skin so she originally started making this for her daughter and she started off with like a baby powder scent y'all the baby powder scent is so freaking oh my god it smells so freaking good and the thing about these shea butters like it literally imprints on your skin like you're gonna be smelling like that all day like I kid y'all now, when I used to use the, uh, I need to give me some more baby powder one, actually. But when I used to use the baby powder one, I would literally use it before I was going to bed. And literally everybody, <laughs> my friends would literally tell me like, oh my God, you smell just like a baby. Or like, I could literally come back home from a long day, sit on my bed, smell, sniff my pillow, and it literally smells like baby powder. Like, it just imprints like on your skin on your clothes like oh my god it smells so good but this is brooklyn body butter the uh baccarat rouge one i literally love this mm, as y'all can see it's almost all gone but it smells just like baccarat like get this i wish she had do she have smaller ones i don't think she has smaller ones but i wish she had like smaller ones that i can keep in my purse and like constantly like rub my hands and moisturize my hands because this baby oh my god and i get a lot of compliments on this too when i do wear this like that smells so freaking good and then speaking back on the topic of like ph balances you want to keep your your hoo-ha moisturized y'all like you don't want it to be dry down there you want to keep it moisturized i use this y'all 100 percent pure coconut oil for my area down there i also use this on my skin like like I said, I was just running low on uh, my jerkins, so I did go ahead and use this. I was using this, and I was moisturizing my whole body, which is good, like, still. Like, coconut oil is good for your skin, y'all. It's good for your teeth. Like, coconut oil has a lot of freaking benefits, y'all. I kid y'all not. But after I get out the shower, I do go ahead and use this. Now, they only sell this. Well, actually, I got this from the grocery store, y'all. <laughs> I got this from the grocery store, but literally use this. I give me some after I get out the shower. Put some in my uh on my fingertips and massage it in my skin, y'all. Go ahead and massage your little hoo ha, your little behind. Do what you gotta do. Just make sure it's moisturized. <laughs> now, this is also new to my skincare routine. Now, this is sunscreen, y'all. Me, y'all, and I'm specifically talking to my black people, y'all. We freaking need sunscreen. Don't think because, oh, I'm black, I can't get sunburned. Oh, I'm black, I don't need sunscreen. Oh, I'm black. No, that's not the case, y'all. Like, in 50 million years, when you get old, when you get about 40 years old, and you start getting wrinkly ass skin, it's gonna be because y'all wasn't using y'all sunscreen. Y'all wasn't using y'all sunscreen. But me, baby, oh, I'm on that time 10. And I got some Listerine. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm usually, I uh, use TheraBreath. But the only bad thing I hate about TheraBreath is it literally goes by so freaking fast. Like, I swear to God, I could have bought that today. And it would have been through, through and done by next wednesday like that should just do not last at all and i just don't know why like well actually i do know why because it's in the small last bottle but my thing is why are you charging 10 15 dollars for this shit and it don't last a whole week like that no i'm not doing that no more like i tried to get with the program i tried to be aesthetically pleasing but no we're going back to listerine y'all we're going back to listerine Okay, and then y'all, so I was looking for an African, I think it's called African sponge, African sponge loofah, one of those. I was looking for one of those in there, but they don't have it, so I am going to have to order it. But I've been hearing a lot of good things about that as well. But I think this is close to it. It's called a bath cloth, I believe. I'm about to take it out just so I can see how it looks. But I think this is close to a African sponge, maybe. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, this is kind of like the same thing, but not for real, because the African African sponge literally looks like a loofah, 
ripped apart. You know, this. Okay, yeah, no, I can, I can wash my back with this. And if it, I ain't gonna lie, it feel harsher than a loofah. I'm kind of scared, but it might have some good benefits, y'all. We using everything tonight, and we gonna see how that goes. Should I give y'all a, a nighttime routine, like nighttime routine, and, I'm, and me using all my products? Should I do that? I don't know, but I'm definitely using this tonight. We're going to see how that works. We're going to see how good to scrub my back. It seems like it's going to be good, though. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> it seems like it's going to be real good. And then lastly, like I was telling y'all, I use Dove deodorant, but I used to use Degree. But this is the deodorant I was talking about. It's shea butter, right? I'm about to read it in a minute. Yes, it's shea butter uh, scent. And they didn't have this in Target. And this is like the only scent that I usually get because i don't know <laughs> i just do oh yeah back to like the ph thing again i keep bringing it up because it's like damn girl like it, i just have so many bad experience with native and native let me tell you about that before i started using it i should have known then but before i started using the native body wash i used the native deodorant and i'm not a roll i actually hate roll-on deodorant like i don't even know why i bought it i was just trying shit because it was new and it was popping on tiktok or whatever so I bought it and I was using it. Mind y'all, I'm rarely musty. Like I rarely ever get musty, like ever, like ever. I could take a shower right now, be walking around my whole complex, come back home, like maybe go run a track, come back home without putting on deodorant and still not be musty. I might be a little sweaty, but I won't be musty. And let me tell y'all, so I was using the native uh, deodorant I'm rolling it on, rolling it on. And y'all, I kid y'all not, this was like two years ago. I kid, I, I remember texting my friends, like, I had went to go see <laughs> this dude I was talking to. I went to go see him, right? And mind y'all, I had literally just took a shower. Literally just took a shower. Rolled on my native deodorant. I get to his house, instantly must. I'm like, what the f is going on? Like, I've never experienced this before. That wasn't the first time, like, that wasn't the, because I, I think I used it three times before I said, oh, no, nah, that's the deodorant. That was my last straw, because, bitch, you want to be musty in front of a nigga? In front of a nigga? Like, no, that's, mm-mm, no. Yeah, so, I go over there or whatever, and I'm smelling myself. I'm like, it wasn't a strong must, but it, I could tell, like, it was some funk under there. Like, I said, oh, no, I'm texting my friend, I'm like, Y'all said native was good. I'm using the freaking deodorant. It's not good, y'all. I'm musty this and that, that. They're like, well, which one did you get? I said, Psh, it don't matter which one I get, baby. It's still funk. So I ended up going back home. Like, I, I told him I left something at my house. And I ended up going back home and um, rewashing my underarms and using a different deodorant. Like, that was, <laughs> that was crazy. But, yeah, that mm -mm, native is a no-go for me. But... That's pretty much it for my hygiene haul, hygiene vlog. Let me know if y'all want more videos like this. Let me know what y'all want to see. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely subscribe because the fuck? But no. <laughs> Make sure y'all turn on my post notifications and y'all turn on my post notifications so y'all can be notified when I post and each and every time I post, period. That's really it for this video. Like I said, comment down below what y'all want to see next. And that is it. Bye, bookies.